At this point, we are actually done with the presentations for the day, and we're going to move into the open microphone session. I'll invite um, uh, folks to now uh, approach the microphones, and if you have anything that hasn't been discussed, uh, policy, uh, how we work, now would be the time to raise them. Uh, we always do an open microphone to make sure we're hearing from you. My esteemed chair, Paul Anderson, is standing by, and we're ready to take anything you might have. Stump the CEO. It's got to happen sooner or later. Everyone's just dying to get done and go make cookies. Okay, last chance. If there's any questions for us, now would be the time. It's been very nice having you for these two days of policy discussions. Just a reminder that while I do waiting, see one. Here we go. Oh. If we stump the CEO, does he have to make a stump speech? Obviously. Uh, 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 speaking uh, of stump sp stump speeches, uh, yeah, I would remind everyone. Yes, obviously we're going to deal with elections next Friday, but you can go and review the website and see the candidates, write shows of support. It's a great activity to do in advance. Right. I see we have another question. Okay, so we have Aaron oh. Hughes from Six Connect update on the NOMCOM, what's being done about the lack of transparency update to election process. I think I could use a little bit more on that question, but I can answer generally by saying uh, the nomination committee, uh, if anything, we've uh, tried to increase by posting more about its internal processes. Um, the uh, We've tried to use more consistent approaches in terms of uh, how we, um, how the NOM commissary analyzes candidates. Uh, the uh, guidance from the board is published uh, publicly, uh, and I'd encourage anyone to read it. And of course, it's, it's always something that we open in sessions like this for uh, feedback. But more generally, uh, there, next week, we will give an update on our governance working group, which has been looking uh, outside the box. Um, we asked our more newer and outside Aaron members on the board to lead a process that looks at our governance, not just from how other internet organizations do it, but just how other organizations do it as a whole. Um, so we'll hopefully give more than that. Very good. Um, Louis Lee, are you good? You got stock in there? Uh, so Louis Lee asked, as you prepare for a hybrid meeting approach, please let the vendor know of your requirements. Uh, I, I know staff. Um, Yes, Aaron, you can take your time and, and type. <laughs> uh, you can, uh, I, I think that would always be, we staff work very hard with all their vendors to make sure that it, it can match the, uh, the capabilities. We, we have a plan where, as I said, we have to plan for the possibility of a uh, in-person meeting, but clearly the need to support people who will not make it for, for uh, whatever reasons um, needs to be included in that. We've already had discussions of what those requirements are. And uh, this uh, are the two virtual meetings we've done inform that process. So uh, we'll be uh, we'll be doing the planning coming up uh, very shortly as to uh, what we do. But you'll hear about it in early January. I think that we've uh, shown we can handle virtual. We know we can handle face-to-face. -face. The question is, um, do we... Do we make the call one way, one way or not? We try to do hybrid. Hybrid is a little different. And so we need to um, see where we are in January to really have a good call as to how important that is um, and, and how viable an in-person meeting is. Yeah, I, I, I think you will have, again, it's, it's, all, it, it, it's a feeling, you will have great remote participation, like something like this. It's really just a matter of can we, I think the only real question is can we host any kind of in-person? I think we've, uh, there's been great strides over these two meetings, uh, just seeing the improvements on how smooth and well this works between the April meeting, or April delayed meeting, I actually forget which month we had, I think we had in May eventually, and the, uh, and the, uh, the fall meeting. So uh, we, are, we are hopeful that by spring it'll be even better. And as noted, we have to consider not only the ability to meet, but the ability for people to return to their loved ones after the meeting in a timely manner, which uh, so, may actually be the problem depending on what's going on. So Owen DeLong, I assume a Farsight Security has asked, how would hybrid differ from previous remote participation at in-person meetings? I don't think we can answer that now. Uh, board direction and, and honestly, I think staff 
uh, request is that it will be will be different, you know, um, but I don't think we, we can commit to anything now until we really understand work. But I, I think the general goal, Owen, would be that people who are remote can feel more like they're at the in-person meeting, or maybe it's that the people who are at the in-person meeting will feel like they're part of the remote meeting. It's, uh, it's hard to tell. Um, I think just trying to bridge them, I think some people have said our, our previous remote participation, which is really a live stream, which, you know, there was sometimes lag and delay and typing questions was the only fashion and uh, people didn't really feel like they were there. So I think it'll be uh, a mixture of technology and a mixture of activities like cooking, making those cookies, baby. It's clear that we're capable of having a meeting like right now that has uh, a much more dynamic, much more feel like a live meeting, even though it's entirely remote. And so uh, we want to retain that. So I don't expect we'll be going back to our old mode. Uh, the question is, can we, uh, and can we, and is it worth, does it make sense for us, uh, given the circumstances that will be present at that time, does it make sense trying to take what we have right now remote and add an in-person component? And we really need to make the call in January because it, it, it is a lot of factors that are going to shape that. So Kathy Aronson asked, like I said in my talk, I'd like there to be parity between in-person and remote, and I think we agree, because it also leads into our next economy, which is Martin Hannigan. Use the internet. Shocking. And I think we agree. Uh, I think the entire industry and the iStar has, has woken up that we've done a lot of work to build this internet. Maybe we should make more use of it. For years, we've all commented how it's ironic that we're spending all our time on planes seeing each other in airports and that we really should do more more uh, more use of the internet. This year's proven we can indeed do that. So yes, I, I think um, I think we need to get in person because we really see the value and and that's something that we'll be taking into consideration come January. Any other questions? Ah. Our of six connects says normally we get a Caribbean update. How are we doing with outreach in the Caribbean? I can still not. I still cannot find any ISPs with V6 adoption and have started to reach out directly to engineers in the region. How is the Aaron effort going? Uh, so quickly just saying you're correct. Um, we have had to condense uh, a bit of the presentations. I think part of the Caribbean stuff was covered in the earlier presentation we were also gonna cover next Friday, but we can certainly make sure just in case that it's highlighted. Um, and we've, uh, we the, the board for sure has a, uh, uh, been leading several efforts and ideas on how to uh, do that and staff as well. John? Yeah, we actually are in the process, ironically. We're about to brief uh, the board on a revised uh, Caribbean engagement strategy. And that was something that um, if it weren't for this, usually in October, we would have a face-to-face -face meeting and that would be part of the activity. Um, as it turns out, we're going to be doing that also. Uh, we'll see if we can try to do that at the same time as we brief the community or about the same time. But we've been doing, uh, we've had a very nice pivot to, we had a number of um, uh, Aaron in, um, in, in the Caribbean uh, activities scheduled for this year. And we pivoted to an online seminar series that's been very well received. So let me see if we can at least get an update of that set for next Friday. And uh, we'll wedge that in the schedule somewhere to give you an update. I think Owen's comment can be uh, pushed in. Okay, so thank you for that. I think we've we're run out of questions. Very good. Um, at which point, uh, if there's nothing coming in and there's no one uh, with their hands up, uh, then I'll end open microphone. Uh, three, two, one. Thank you, everyone.